After a good night's sleep, Honor Flight 7 is ready for day two. Good morning. We start our morning at the United States Navy Memorial. The lone sailor gazes out over the oceans of our country. There are naval flags fluttering in the wind, reminding Joe Martinez about his time in the service. Well, it's not too much tell. I was just looking out for submarines. And I was in an oil tanker. We used to fuel ships at sea. Yeah. So we were just in and out of danger. Mr. Martinez is accompanied by his daughter on this trip. This is a once in a lifetime opportunity yeah, I really for like my dad and his brothers and the family to be here celebrating the contributions of my father because without him and others, we may not be here. And if he hadn't come back safely, we wouldn't be here. Oh, say can you see Next, we travel to the World War II Memorial. Situated in between the Lincoln Memorial and the Washington Monument, the site is absolutely breathtaking. This memorial honors the 16 million who served in the armed forces during World War II. And dozens of those people are right in front of me. It's a moment I will never forget. And the home of the brave The Korean War Memorial almost silences our group. You can see the men and women who were there remembering their time in Korea. Then, then the Chinese came in by the millions, and that's when our soldiers got caught and wounded, killed. These statues are larger than life, yet extremely realistic. These 19 statues are in full combat gear and depict soldiers on patrol. Behind the soldiers is a wall of remembrance that reminds us of the price of freedom. It's beautiful. Eddie Martinez was a radio operator during the Korean War. Well, I'm just proud of my dad and my uncles that were able to serve our country, and it's kind of a special time for me, and it is emotional also. I mean, seeing all the, the stuff that our servicemen had to go through and, and a lot of the loss of life, it's, it's really a, a neat memorial to everybody that served in our country. On this honor flight, we're traveling with just one Vietnam veteran, Joe Olichia was in Vietnam as a young 21-year-old Marine. He knows many men who did not come home, and their names are some of the 58,000 etched into this wall. The enormity of the Vietnam Wall has its effect on everyone in our group, and we pause to think about what it all means. Always a pleasure to see you. After an emotional yet amazing day at the National Mall, it's time to get going. We're back on the bus and heading to the airport. May you all have a blessed and safe journey home. And please tell your stories. Thank you. At the airport, we line up for the trip back to San Antonio. But there's another surprise for our veterans. On the plane, they're handed letters from home, notes from loved ones and community members thanking them for their service and reminding these veterans that they are all our heroes. Got the letter. 